Chapter 5 Fire It was March. One night I was in bed, but I was not asleep. The house was quiet. Suddenly, I heard a sound in the corridor outside my room. Who's there? I said. Nobody answered. Then I heard a strange laugh. I got out of my bed and I went quietly to the door. I listened. I heard another sound. Somebody was walking up the stairs to the top corridor. Then I heard somebody close a door. Was that Grace Poole? I said to myself. Yes, it was Grace. Why was she laughing? And why is she walking in the house at night? Is she mad? I must tell Mrs Fairfax about this. I will speak to her now. I put on some clothes and I opened the door. There was a candle on the floor outside my room. The candle was burning. There was thick smoke in the corridor. I went into the corridor. I looked around me. The door of Mr Rochester's bedroom was open and the smoke was coming from Mr Rochester's room. I ran into the room. Wake up, sir! What happened, Jane? There was a fire, sir. Grace Poole tried to kill you. Stay here, Jane. Open the window. I'll go upstairs. I sat in a chair by the window. Time passed. At last, Mr Rochester returned. Please don't worry, Jane, he said. Grace Poole is a strange woman. But she won't hurt anybody tonight. I stood up. Good night, sir, I said. Mr Rochester held my hand. He looked at me and he smiled. Thank you, my dear friend, he said. You saved my life tonight, Jane. Good night, sir, I said again. I went back to my bed. I was very tired. But at first, I could not sleep. Suddenly, I understood something. I loved Mr. Rochester. He had smiled at me. He had held my hand. Did he love me? I did not know. But I thought about Mr. Rochester for a long time. I did not see Mr. Rochester the next day. He did not send for me. In the evening, I went down to Mrs. Fairfax's sitting room. The housekeeper was looking out of the window. The weather has been good today, Mrs. Fairfax said.